It's time for us to once again dive into the ever-changing world of AI with everything that's new for GitHub Copilot in Visual Studio Code. Let's rock. Inline chat now starts as a floating control, which makes it more lightweight. But after the first request, the control then expands and takes up more space, so you have more room for more activities. We've also adjusted the rendering to be more consistent with other chat experiences, such as the chat view or the quick chat. When you're in a Jupyter notebook, the kernel state, so for example, variables and available packages is now automatically included as context in inline chat. And this lets Copilot use the current state of the notebook so that you get more relevant completions. If you haven't tried the commit message generation feature yet, what are you waiting for? Check it out. We've worked hard to improve this by including recent commit messages from the repo. So check this out if you've never checked it out before or you tried it once and you haven't in a while. If you didn't know, the workspace participant can generate new projects with the slash new command. This command now offers sample projects, which we've curated as suggestions when a suitable match is detected for the chat prompt. You can also now tweak the result of slash new with a follow-up command. Copilot is really good at explaining terminal errors. So there is a new slash explain command available that is specifically optimized for explaining commands or errors in the terminal. Inline chat is now available in the terminal as a preview in this release. If you want to try this out, you'll need to enable it with the experimental inline chat setting. Inline chat in the terminal always uses the terminal chat participant, which is optimized for knowledge for your specific terminal. Control enter runs the command in the terminal. For the chat view, there's a new drop down next to the chat submit button that has more actions. And you can do things here like sending the query to the workspace participant or just starting a new chat, which will clear the current chat and then submit the message. And finally, if you use the slash explain command without having anything selected in the active editor and your code has multiple scopes of interest, like this function here, then we'll prompt you to clarify which symbol or block scope that you want explained. And that's it for this release. As always, check out the official release notes for everything that's new in Visual Studio Code and GitHub Copilot. And we'll see you back here next month. And as always, happy smart coding.